if we just think about uh, what's happening right now in the world, we start thinking about some of the livestock um, outbreaks of concern. Obviously, foot and mouth disease is of, of huge concern. I think what's really interesting about something like foot and mouth disease is that um, we, we think in a global kind of health system, a global agri-health system, that we have the checks and balances in place um, to prevent and respond. Now, that might be okay in, in one particular country or a different particular country, but the more deeper you go into this, um, the more you realize that these huge gaps um, in, in basic um, animal disease surveillance. So one of the things that we're particularly concerned about is, is the informal movement of livestock across borders. And I think this is something the, uh, that, that the vets, um, the quarantine, but also enforcement agencies kind of need to be aware of and kind of engaged in. Um, so for example, you know, if we, if we just think about the, the greater Mekong subregion um, and the connected kind of land borders there, there are traditional and informal cattle routes um, out of most of those countries running into each other and up to China. And, um, and these, these kind of informal routes pose huge threats. We need everyone kind of involved in this, particularly at a community level, and particularly at a border level. Um, but really, at the end of the day, this, this comes down to cross-agency leadership and, and willingness to, to go further um, in prevention and response.